Now at 6.30, a collision last night between two jet skis on the Columbia River in Vancouver left one woman dead. The other driver involved was arrested. Fox 12's Pauline Aguilar spoke with a witness who heard the crash. The incident happened just south of the railroad bridge you see behind me. Police reports say the man involved, Stephen Lubbock, was under the influence when the crash happened. I work at Waterfront and I can see the river. I was like, wow, a person died here last night. It's pretty surreal feeling. Police say at about 7.30 Sunday evening, 39-year-old Kira Donovan was riding her jet ski on the Columbia River. Stephen Lubbock was also riding his jet ski when they collided, leaving witnesses nearby startled. We heard a loud bang. We thought a boat ran into the rocks. We ran to the shore, saw a jet ski and someone in the water. So a bunch of people went to the shoreline, started uh, seeing what's going on. And bystanders went to help. Someone jumped off the pier, swam to a jet ski, jumped up on the jet ski, were waving their phone to get attention of other boats in the water. When emergency crews arrived, they performed CPR on Donovan, but she later died. Lubbock states in a police report he jet skied to Lemon Island, then jet skied to Portland to fill up gas. He then jet skied to the Vancouver waterfront, did some donuts in the water, and headed back to Portland when Donovan hit him. Lubbock also stated in the report he had been drinking at Lemon Island an hour before riding the jet ski and later tested over the legal limit. It was kind of scary. It was just very negative vibe, honestly. But this isn't Lubbock's first encounter with law enforcement. In 2011, Lubbock, 19 years old at the time, was arrested for robbing a Wells Fargo with a gun in Vancouver. He was sentenced to over four and a half years in prison. Lubbock has now been arrested on vehicular homicide charges and driving a vessel under the influence. Lubbock does have a history of being under the influence as he was arrested for a DUI last year. Reporting in Vancouver, Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12 Oregon.